Okay, we're building a net. And we have our outside ends done. You'll see how we're making it, how we're putting together, how we put our swages in. Okay, so we've got six and a half inches between the loop and there. 11 inches between each one of the swages. And we use copper swages, not the aluminum ones that you can get in all the store-bought ones because the aluminum ones break. It's a lot more expensive to do it this way. It's about $170 worth of materials for each net. But in the long run, it lasts longer. The swages don't break. Everything runs good. And on the end of ours, this one here, we're putting the sling ring so that your D-rings can go right on there and connect right up to your cable. So we're going to have this end from this one on there. Then we'll have this on there too. And it's going to make a complete net when we're done, which I'll show you. And what we think, the reason we like this net is because it naturally forms a loop when we have it done. So all you have to do is just drop it over the boulder. So here's one of the other ones that we had already, a broken one. And you can see when you're swimming in the water, all you got to do is just grab it by here. And when you get to the boulder, you spread it open like this. You drop it over and tell them to pull. And it's just that fast and just that easy. You don't got to sit there and mess with it. You just drop it over the boulder and away it goes. When you're doing a truck pull, when you go the fastest way to pull instead of winching is to use your vehicle if you can get it to the place. You have a person in the truck, you have a person in the water, you have one person in the center. Your swimmer says, pull. The guy puts it in drive and drives. You drive fast, you get it out of the way. He says, stop, you stop. The guy says, back up, you back it up. He drops it on again and pull. You can do a pull every couple minutes. It's really fast. It's the only way to do it. We use a winch also where we're at now, but when you can use a truck, that's the way to go. We're going to continue making this net. Yeah, this is our $400 pair of pliers for making our swages. I couldn't do without it. Got $1,000 worth of tools. We make all our own nets. Here, stand over the side. We make all our own nets. So we have our two outside pieces We're ready to thread it together. Here's our completed net. We got our sling rings on the end. You only need two of them. So all you have to do is put your D-rings on here and connect it to your cable. The boulder, just, you just drop it over the top of the boulder, just like that. And after it's been pulled two or three times, this is brand new, so it hasn't been pulled yet, it'll stay open on its own and just drop around the boulder. Then you just hook your cable up here and there, and you're ready to go. Very simple, very good, it works. Took us a couple hours to put together, but you know, when it comes right down to it, you're not going to find a, a better net than what you have here for just all around speed, for speed moving, for moving the boulder as fast as possible. The store bought ones are just made for you to buy, they, they work. Uh, the difference between that net that you have at the store and this net here basically is we use copper swages. Uh, where the store-bought ones are aluminum, they're more brittle, and generally when you break a net, a lot of times, at least half the time or more, it's going to be one of these swages that breaks. With the copper, you got enough strength to where the swages don't break. You'll break one of the limbs, but you're not going to break a swage. And that's what you're looking for. You want quality? This is it. You want to build your own net? We've given you all the dimensions, I think. Read me off the dimensions. Uh, one more time. For the, for the main arm, which is uh, what these uh, sling links are connected to, it's uh, 132 inches. 
main arms are 132 inches. And the first loop, which is... These loops here? Yeah, that's uh, 90 inches. Okay, 90 and inches for the first loops. Two of those, and then... And then for the center one that comes around and does the rest of it... It's uh, 139 and a half inches. 139 and a half, 140 inches, somewhere in that area. Then just make it all together, just like this. Then you have the perfect net. Perfect. So that's it. How to make your, make your boulder net. Another mandatory part of dredging. If you're going to be dredging, you're going to be moving boulders. What more can I say? You can buy your own nets. You can make your own nets. It's a little more expensive to make your own, but it lasts a lot longer. And they drop right around the boulder once it gets pulled tight. Just like I showed you with this old one. If you take a look at this, none of the suede are broken. You can see the copper on them now by the color. We finally, we broke a leg over there, we repaired it. We broke a leg over here, it's time to retire this net. Yeah, this is quarter inch. you can inch. see that it just drops down perfectly over the boulder. So there's, there's no hassle of trying to string it out and hold it in place. Just drop it over, it locks in and you're there. Pull. That's the word. That's what I'll sit here. All right, so we have our completed new boulder sling. We have our sling rings we put on here. We have our swage. We have our swage compressor, our cable cutter, and of course our boxes of swages. Our old net, my partner Jim and me. And that's how to make a boulder sling. Good boulder sling. Yeah. Mother of all boulder slings. Yeah. The mother of all boulder slings right here. No screwing around. Another home built product from Reed and Jim. You saw our dredge. Now you see our slings. You want professionally good working equipment. And the best way to get that equipment is to make it yourself. Hands down. And that's it. Come on, you know what? No, we're all right. Okay, we're in motion. We'll let it pull all the way out and let you watch it. This one's just about max for our net. And if we wanted to switch out a bigger boulder, we had two choices. Either put a small cable on this, like a choker between the two um, cable slings, so we get a little bit more width out of it, or just put one of our other cables on there or one of our slings. This is the biggest rock of the day. The sun's already down behind the hill. We're getting the last little bit of daylight for our last pull of the day.